Hello, my angels. Welcome or welcome back. Thank you for stopping by to watch me do and work on my expense tracker for the last two weeks. Now, a little backstory. This year, I decided I was going to be a cash budgeter. But I can't completely do all cash um, because there are some things like my food and my gas that nearly needs to be done with the card. Like if I use gas, if I use cash, it's not I'm not going to get the points. So it's better to just go ahead and use the debit card. Now, sometimes I might sometimes I take out the money and then put it back in. Sometimes I just leave it in there. It all depends on how I'm feeling that day when I get to the bank or if I can get to the bank in time while it's open. But nevertheless, I also now need to start tracking my expenses. I've been doing this for over a year. It works when I do it. This year, my word of the year is discipline. And so I'm trying to discipline myself enough to make sure I get, I don't know if y'all can see my hands in the shadow. Um, I'm trying to discipline myself so that I can get myself in order and get myself ready for my new adulthood. My birthday's coming up and I'm about to start my next half of my life. And I want this part of my life to be right. And right in my eyes, not in anybody else's eyes, but mine. I want to be able to be a certain place in my life in the next 10 to 15 years that I'm not stressing, I'm not worrying, and I have a process of what I do. And that process will work. So I did do budgeting. I've always done budgeting, like, forever. Um, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. These last two years, with everything that we've been going through in our in our world, the type of budgeting I do was just not working. So I decided to try something else. Now, something that I usually do on a normal basis is write down all my expenses in this my happy planner mini and even though these aren't the actual happy planner inserts it's the size and honestly this is a cloth and paper cover this is a no teak binder so it's not really a happy planner but it's a happy planner uh, twin best way to say and so what I've always done and I can show you a little bit here is I write down my expenses for the week here. The reason I do it here instead of on a big calendar, if I put it on a big calendar, it's too much and it becomes clustered and I'm not really paying attention. Here, I can actually say, let me see, where are we? Here, I can actually say, oh, Monday I spent money on gas. I actually went out and eating out fast food. Um, Tuesday, I was in Office Depot for, for my Etsy shop, buying some supplies. So like I can see, and then Thursday, I have nothing. So that actually ends up being a no spend day. So I usually will take this, which is what I'm getting ready to do, for the two weeks in February. I take this, put this to the side. Then these are the two sticker albums I'll probably be using to do my expenses, to write down my expenses. And then what I do is I come in here. I come in here and I take my expense tracker. I write them out and here but I also put stickers here so that this is bigger this is still a little clogged up but this way I can use in the back what I usually do on the back is write down exactly what I've spent and add it total it up I, that total will actually come on here I don't do all the expenses here because I've already written them down in my mini planner and then I've written them down here so basically I just do the total and then what I've done for the day and that kind of helps me with um it helps me get and understand what I'm doing, how I'm spending my money, and where am I spending my money to. Here's my, I will need this afterwards. So this right now, we're just gonna pull this out, put this planner to the side, and now I'm going to write out my expenses. So I'm gonna probably fast forward this a little bit so that you guys are not watch me write every little thing. Oh, and the other reason I like this is because they're by the day. So when, here is by the day, but sometimes you can't skip a line. Sometimes you can. Sometimes I spend all this page. Sometimes I don't. So this way I get a chance to really see it block by block. What do I do? Oh, I do a lot of eating out on what days. Why did I have, why? And then I can go back and look and say, why did I spend on that day? What was going on that made me do that? So let me get to this part and then I'll be right back with you guys.
Okay, so I wanted to stop so you guys can understand what I'm doing. I kind of do things a little bit redundant, but I have them on here. This is pretty much a daily, between a daily and weekly. Some days I do it the same day, some days I do it at the end of the week. But I write down all my receipts that I have. Now, what I've been doing is this is the receipts, not necessarily everything online. Sometimes I post online, but sometimes I don't. It all depends. But that's when I don't like looking at my bank account because they don't do it on the exact day. Like it posts, it may pay two, oh, excuse me, two to three days later. So this is, I usually go by the receipts I have. If I do online shopping, then I'll sometimes bring it in, sometimes I don't. But I try to keep a track of online purchases. I really don't do a whole lot of online purchases, except for gas and groceries. Well, gas is not online, but I use a card. But groceries, I do a lot of online grocery shopping. So nevertheless, I take this. I put it on here. Once I put it on here, I total up each category. As you can see, I was doing right here. That one was kind of messed up there, but here's a little bit neater. I calculate and I see what I, how much I spent for the week. So last week I spent two hundred six dollars and eighteen cents. The week before I spent one hundred eight dollars and sixty seven cents, which is really interesting. So then what I'm going to do now is write them on my little label, my little label sheets. Hmm. Okay, we're not going to worry about that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do this first, which, like I said, it's a little redundant, but it gives me an idea of what I am doing with my money. And I figured until I get a really good hold on my money, my finances, this is the best thing I can do. So then what I do, once I've um, wrote them on the labels... I come in here, I take this is it. I take these from here. And these inserts are in my Etsy shop. They usually you can get them individually or you can get them as a, a kit. I have a budget kit which will have the monthly bill, monthly bills, monthly bill tracker, excuse me, monthly goals, monthly recap, um, expense trackers, and these are all you can either down you can buy a printable or you can get it live copy, a hard copy. It has the expense tracker, it has the paycheck um, budget, and then I'm missing something, monthly goals. Oh, the expense tracker, and then the weekly check-in, which I'm going to do at the end of this. And that usually comes in a pack. I do them based on the holidays. So they're you can either get a neutral or you can get different colors. So you'll see them in different sets on, on the Etsy shop. So you have that choice. When you buy the sticker kit, you get all these labels and you can do them for however you want but all these labels come in the sticker kit I think it's 10 of them okay so let's go back I might still end up um, fast forwarding this but I want to at least show you guys what I'm talking about where was the shoppers shoppers was in the fifth when was on the, the fifth and then one was on the sixth I don't know what I was thinking so then I just put them here if I need to go up I'll go up um, and then at the end, I'll total it by day what I've spent per, per day. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it so that because I don't have you here all day.
Okay. Okay, now I'm back. So, what I have done, like I told you guys, these are inserts that I printed out for no reason, but I just never got a chance. I wanted to make sure I had my inserts before the year started, so I kind of printed my own. I did some last year, for the last couple of months, so I just said, let me just continue to do it. So, this is what I do when I do my weekly check-in. Okay, you have to excuse me. That light just keeps going out. I'm just going to leave it out now. Um, so, at this point, I do check. Well, first, I go and check and see what I've paid. I paid the credit card bill. I haven't done a thing. And then Netflix was paid. Student loan was paid. Gymnastics was not paid because there's, there's some things going on differently at the gymnastics right now. Car note was paid. Velo was paid. And Prime was paid. So, now, I'm just going to go by, back through here. Now, what I do is... I know it's kind of redundant, but honestly, for my brain sake, like this looks better than actually putting it on the calendar. Because when you look at the calendar, let me see if I can pull it up. Let me pull it out here. Oops. Okay, so when you look at the calendar, I didn't put the, the prices on it, but this is my spread. If I start putting expenses on top of that, this thing will look so, it already looks cluttered. It looks cluttered because I have so many bills. So basically it was better to do it this way because at the most, Okay, this is like one of the most days I spent money. But so far, outside of gas, I haven't done a whole lot of, um, I mean, I did a whole lot of spending outside of gas. So here I would, before, well, either before I turn the lip or on my turn, I'll put one of these down. If it's just gas, then I'm not going to worry about it. So on the second, let me put these two to the side first. On the second, I only had one thing. So I only spent $17. Now, looking at it daily gives me the opportunity to say, hey, um, what happened that day? What was I doing that day to actually end up spending so much money? Like here, I went to the gas station twice. Oh, gosh. And that's probably because I was running out of gas and I like to go to Costco, but I will go somewhere else if I need to. And then go and fill up at Costco. And no matter what, it still ends up being like the same. Almost $40 a day. It has gotten ridiculous with pricing around here. Um, see, and this would have been a no-spend day if I had not gone to McDonald's. But I have a I have a love-hate relationship with McDonald's and their dollar drinks. And I love sodas, which I know I need to get rid of. But I, I can't, I don't know what to say about it. Because me and uh, McDonald's. I don't really get any food from there. I really, if you see, everything is like a dollar with six. Every now and then I might get one extra thing, but for the most part, it's a dollar with six because that's pretty much how how I spend. I don't really like McDonald's food anymore. They don't have really any, I try not to eat meat, so it's not really much I will eat at the store. So what I eat is pretty much French fries and a soda. I also do Wendy's, their cheese fries. I love their cheese fries. Okay, so like this will be a no spend day because it was only gas and I budget for gas. All this is not a complete budgeting. It's just I'm spending, I have the money and I spend it, which is not good because really I don't have the money. Oh, I forgot to total this one up. So as you see this whole birthday thing, I was in, I was trying to uh, get my girlfriend her gift. We're, my, a friend of mine, I have a little group and we were going to um, drop off some stuff, but I had, I needed to get cash so I could put some cash in her, her. I had a gift, but I wanted to also give her cash. We were going to all put in cash together. So I was doing that and forgot to add the extra money to my receipt. So I just started buying things just so I can add up, but it was stuff that I needed for her anyway. So that's how that ended up, ended up. Now, even though I'm totaling this for the gas, it's still a no spend day because I didn't buy anything other than gas and gas is budgeted, but I still want to know what I spent for the day. So I think that was it, right? Cause I did this one. So in the two week period, I had one, two, three, four. Now what I will do if I have hit around, I don't know. Mm. I will go into here, what I will do, and let me see if I can find it. I have two sets of no spins. 
Yes, here we go. And these are smaller. So I can put down, was it the first? I had a no spin day. Oh, the second, nope. The eighth, I had a no spend. And I only do the no spins. I don't necessarily do the actual budget on here. Was it the 10th? Is a no spend. And the 12th. Oops. Is a no spend. So, one, two, three, four. I got four days. That's not too bad compared to like, I'm, I'm an Amazon. I'm an Am Amazon lover. So, I do go on Amazon a lot and try to buy stuff. That's how I buy groceries. So, to keep this a little short because it's been 20 minutes. Um, well, you guys might not see it for 20 minutes, but I will see it for 20 minutes. Okay. And I don't want to add on, so I may do a different video. But at this point, this is what I do outside of the month, outside of the monthly, where all my expense, my bills are. These are just my bills. These are my expenses. So I have, this is how I set up every month. I have icons for the days I have a bill to pay. These usually I will fill these out at the end of the week. I haven't done it. I even though I did the video already just to see how much I saved and now was how I do it used to be I was only doing three challenges um the penny challenge a dollar challenge and then I will pick a challenge per month but this year I decided to just do that whole cash envelope and savings challenge so I have a binder so what I'm doing is I have four binders right now each one of these should be whatever's in the binder total so I can see what I have and that's pretty much it for my weekly I should say this is not it for my weekly check-in I was getting ready to say that was it but it's not. I'm going to do this off camera. But. Whew. I'm going to do this off camera. But I want to also. Okay. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. Nope. Not that. Nope. Not that. Oh. Here we go. My weekly check-in. So. When you get the weekly check-in. You actually get. Two pages. But one says week one, two, three, four. And, you know, sometimes there's a week five in some months or based on how you do it. And then you have extra spaces for the different ones. So if, it's, if I go overflow on week one, I can put week one here. If I go overflow on week two, I can put here week three. So it's just enough to do an overflow and this. So now you guys are getting a chance to see my whole, my whole um, setup. I'm going to go in. Like I said, I'm not going to do it now. And... I write in the category and what, how much I budgeted for. Maybe we'll do it with this one. So, yeah, I think I'll start that and do it as well here. That way you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. So let me start. I'm going to actually fast forward this so that you guys are not sitting here forever. First two weeks, I need a sticker that says February. But the first two weeks so far, the categories that I've used, as I'm pulling out the uh, stickers, the categories that I've used is so far is gas, eating out, groceries, and honestly, that's pretty much all I do every month is those two things. 
Every now and then I might have something else. But for the most part, that's that's it. So I have gas. I budgeted $550, which should be in my monthly budget video. $550. I budgeted for gas. I've used $55.11 the first week. And I had a remaining $494.89. So I brought that over here, $494.89 for gas. But last week I paid $122.25 for gas. Yes, because gas is going up day by day. And I, as you know, that's pretty much my, my work is always driving. So that's that. Remaining is $372.64. And I have gone up on the budget for that because I used to only budget $60 a week. And now I pretty much have to do like $100, almost $100 a week. A little over that. Um, then send my groceries. My groceries I did only thirty-one twenty-three, left the remaining of forty-four eighty-eight, mm, forty forty-eight seventy-seven. Bring that down here to the beginning. Groceries I only spent seven dollars three thirty-eight cents. Now, I gotta come back and wheel back. If you notice how much I did, oh, I, I skipped eating out. You see how much I used to eat out because I have not bought groceries for the last two weeks. So whatever is remaining in the house, that's what my kids have been been eating not before I feel so bad but I've been running hectic at school started back again so I'm just been going 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 and so my goal this weekend is to this weekend coming up is to um make sure I have groceries in the house so my kids can eat they're still eating they are just not eating good because <laughs> I haven't had a chance to go so this like this amount this week will be a whole lot different than it is right now but that is how I do my weekly budget I mean, my weekly, my weekly check-in. I try to check in every two weeks on how I'm doing it. Because every week it just seems a little redundant to me. But now I have this. And I've kept this. I have a whole bunch of these. I love them. I don't know if she sells them anymore. This comes from Fancy Plans Co. And for me, it, I love to color it in so that I can see what I've done so far so what I don't think I have done is what I don't think I've done is what do I have the calendar I don't have the calendar with me so it's okay I don't need the calendar I'll just go this way on the first let me just hold this right here on the first was a no spin let's see let's see it's February so we're gonna do red on the first it was a no spin okay. There was no more no spins for the first week. On the 8th was a no spin. This is a cute print. I think you can only get this. This is not a printable. I think you can only get a hard copy of this one. But it's still cute. I'm not doing a reward right now. I'm just trying to get in the habit of really trying not to spend on a daily basis. I'll just put it in the wrong spot. Okay, that's right. So let's see. On the tenth is a no spin. Got more. Too bad. For somebody who's just starting over and trying to create a balance and a budget that works for me and my family, not just for me, but for me and my family. So this is what I do at the end of two weeks. Every two weeks, I do this. Um, I try my hardest to do it on Sundays, but it may be on a Monday or a Tuesday. So let me just go back again and show you guys. This is how I do my weekly spread. I don't, yes, I do the weekly tracker, but I like to look at this. One, it always helps. It, one, it's just fun. Stickers are fun. I love stickers. So that's the first thing. Two, I hate writing. <laughs> that's the second thing. So I try to find ways to make it fun where I'm not really writing a whole lot. I mean, I'm still writing, but not like everything. Um, so nevertheless, and it just gives you something to make it pretty, make the budget pretty. Make, and if it's pretty and it's fun, then you're going to do it. So that's my whole motto right now. So anyway, here is what my weekly spread does, my weekly budget spread, and then my weekly tracker. I am a type of person that likes to keep everything together. So I don't like to put these all in the back and then... I like to know, okay, during the week, this is what I did. I'm, and I can match them up. This is my second week. And usually I have my paycheck budget in here, which is already 
we didn't need that for this one. But as you can see, my bills go up top. Whatever I'm doing savings, here's the savings. I had extended savings. I had start, saved up $43 at the end of the week. Um, I didn't I just realize I didn't do last the week before. Okay, no worries. Mini savings, I got 13. Savings challenge, I have $411.03. And extended savings, I've saved up $43. So right now, I'm at a total of 43. I think I did this in one, um, in one of my other videos. I've saved up a total of $467.03. And that goes from the beginning of the year to this past Sunday, which was the 13th. Um, so I'm actually doing, I think personally I'm doing a lot better. The fact that I was able to save that much is crazy. Yeah, and it's, if there's anything that happens or anything that comes up in emergency, which is what happens in my life all the time, at least I have something to fall back on. So that really helps. Um, so here's my weekly check-in. Weekly check-in is similar to this. This is a total, this is just me personal information. This is not something everybody has to do. A lot of people planners, I mean a lot of planners, a lot of budgeters I see they put this on their um, monthly she, monthly calendar and I just, for me that's just not working. I like to see it here and then I get to see the total which is something that a lot of people don't do. So I see the total of what I'm spending every day. So like this one, the reason this got extra money is because I went and, with my girlfriend's birthday and we wanted to get her some stuff and that was what that was. But what I also see on here is these red ones, which is my eating out. Look how many times I ate out. One, two, three, four. Four times in one in one week. That's not good. So I look at these and try to see how I can fix it. The issue before was that I was not holding myself accountable. Now that I'm doing this journey and I'm having you guys come with me on this journey, maybe my discipline will be a lot better and that I focus on getting this stuff done and getting it done correctly. So, if you have stayed to the end, can you give me a thumbs up? I really appreciate it. It's free. doesn't cost you anything. Not even your time. It's two seconds. And leave me a comment if you can. I would love to speak with you one-on-one -on -one about how you guys are doing your budget. If you see anything that's a little reckless on my behalf, please tell me. I'm trying to go through this journey, change up a lifestyle that I've been living so long that did not help. So now I'm trying to better myself. And if you have any suggestions, I am always open for them. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you know when I put on my last video. Put up my next video, not my last, my next video. As you can see now, I'm getting a little bit better and putting them in. I was doing good at the beginning of January. I fell off, but I am back. And I promise you, I have so many videos to edit right now that you should have a flow of videos for the next month. Plus, I love doing the budget online with you guys. This, to me, just seems to be so much fun and so much makes me determined to do it. So I'm really liking it. So hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, angels.